Hey everyone, this is Kushi Sodoriana of Getting Married by the Fair TV. Since this is one of my first vlogs, I'd like you to know me better. So I asked some industry friends and a couple to send some questions that's industry related and personal ones as well. So I hope this is exciting. Let's get started. Hi Kuchi, congratulations on your YouTube channel. I have a personal question to you. Are you ready? What is a dream you've never said out loud? Ang kit mo talaga, Teddy. And thank you for the question. Muna ko talaga pinakarap maging doktor. Kasi nga, innate sa akin yung I want to help people. Um, second, yung pagiging TV newscaster, pinakarap yan. Um, because really like interacting with people. But I think it's consistent with what I have become now. Those two pangarap of mine are really stressful then. No? So, I guess uh, I really try best under pressure. Hi, Ate Kuchi. Here's my question. If you would be given a chance to go back to a certain chapter in your life, what would it be and why? If there is one chapter in my life that is a kambalitan, that would be when I had my only child Patrick. Uh, that was for me the happiest and the best thing that ever happened in my life. Because having a child is absolutely priceless. My first question is, Ano yung pinaka worst bashing na natanggap mo? And how were you able to deal with it? Better din siguro if you will give us kung ano yon, di ba? Para naman makarelit kaming lahat. And also my next question, why do you love working with young talents? Well, when I was starting pa lang talaga, I was already getting a lot of clients. But I also have good doctors who would tell me na kaya lang daw ako popular is because sobrang baba ng rates ko. At the end of the day, I made it a goal not to be affected by them and I want to prove them wrong by doing a good job. Your good rate must come with good quality of work also. So this might be some example of a new video that then reach it and has become successful. Um, I really like giving chance to others in the set, uh, giving them the opportunity to work, na makilala sila. Uh, because with this is a way din naman of uh, injecting fresh ideas and I find them very enthusiastic. So it makes me happy if nakakatulong ako that way. Hi, Kuchi. For my first question, I just wanted to ask during a wedding, and there's a sit-down dinner. What excites you the most? The appetizer, the main course, or the dessert? As a professional wedding planner, when do you think big weddings will happen again? I love your question, Char. The dessert, of course. I must certify sweet tooth and dessert is life. Nako, super linip na din ako, Char. So, as soon as the government allows us to operate together with the IATF guidelines. So, I hope that really happens soon. Okay, I know that you've been in the industry for so long. But, if you wish you could go back in time, and if there is something that you wish you knew before joining, um, or before becoming a wedding planner, what would that be? For my professional question, I know that wedding planning is very hard. Um, it's a it's a very big responsibility for you guys. But um, for the whole wedding planning, like from the time that they require, from the time that they um, set up the with you with the suppliers or the execution of the wedding day or even the wedding program, the wedding reception, which part is the most challenging? And also with the new normal as we go back to the events after this whole pandemic, what do you think um, will be the changes for the previous challenging times? Well, at first, I really thought a wedding planner and coordinator is such a glamorous job. Um, we're always required to be on our toes, before you can attack ball, like assist, trouble shooter, but no regrets because I really 
um, love doing this job and I really enjoy it. No? So, it's really fun. Well, sa totoo lang, laging challenging sa akin yung budgeting part ng wedding. Kasi most of the time, uh, most couples if you want a beautiful wedding, pero may budget. So, laging challenging sa akin yung striking a balance between um, a budget, pero quality of work. And yung magiging difference lang after the pandemic is I think uh, we will just have to continue observing safety guidelines and protocols as we work back. But hopefully, this is all temporary and slowly we get back to normal. Hi, Kuchi. Hope you're doing well. My question is, being one of the most busiest person I know of in the wedding industry, how did this lockdown affect you? Hello, Francis. So, bring us for the wedding industry. But I believe if there is night, there is day. And I look forward to the light at the end of the tunnel. Hi, Kochi. What's your favorite snack food? Favorite exercise regimen? Do you see yourself doing weddings no, in the next 20 years? Or are you planning to retire in the next 5 years? Hi, Pat. Well, simply lang, my favorite is banana tulon kasi it reminds me of my childhood days in Bulacan. And then for exercise, hindi lang kanuta sa akin, but I love doing weights. And I'd like to thank you for sharing with me the YouTube of Peter Robertson for these exercises. Well, honestly, I have not thought of retiring in the next 20 years. Hanggat kaya ko pa and healthy. I really love weddings and up to now, I still enjoy it. Kuchi, we all know that you are one of the most efficient and one of the most organized wedding coordinators out there. You've been doing this for quite a while and you have made a lot of brides and grooms dream wedding come true. Aside from this, you also organize the biggest bridal fair in the country, among other things. So my question is this, what drives you, what motivates you, what inspires you to continue to excel in all of your endeavors? And for my second question, we all know that this new normal will bring about many changes in weddings to come. But I suppose not all of these changes are necessarily bad ones. I'd like to believe that there will be positive changes to this new normal. My question is, I would like to ask what you think are some of these positive changes that this new normal will bring to weddings. Well, Atom, thank you for that. Well, I really like helping others and empowering people. So I think probably I want to be in activities that needs my help. So it motivates me a lot when I'm able to give job to my staff and also to wedding suppliers. And even for my couples, help me empower them so we can plan their weddings. And it gives me a sense of fulfillment and happiness if we're able to execute their weddings as planned. Well, yung number one na positive is yung naging OC tayo bigla sa cleanliness and hygiene, no? Not only for ourselves, but also for the community around us. Number two, yung nare-discover natin yung mga families natin because we got to bond with them during the lockdown. And hopefully, when we get busy again, we remember to have work-life balance para we really give them quality of time for them. Not, not during the pandemic na matinali. And then, of course, yung hindi naman to wedding related, but yung appreciation of simple things kasi we realize that a lot of the basic things in life is really what's important and we can survive naman pala with that. I have two very important questions for you. Question number one, what has been the most logistically challenging but most rewarding wedding reception that you've ever planned for? And number two, is Peter Zaldariaga your first and only love? Let's see you answer that. See, si RJ the Desma is a very entertaining and a noble host. So consistent, but it's a lot questions. So, for the next question, na lang. 
But uh, yes, um, Peter has been there since day one, Aww. and I'm lucky I have his support. Well, for me, uh, laging logistic challenging yung mga destination weddings, especially if it's outdoor. So I had this wedding in Tagaytay, wherein we have to build class, build the kitchen, even the entire ballroom, and we are just in tents. Tapos it rained pa, so nakaka pressure sa time, and um, it really is much of an effort talaga on how you are going to finish everything according to time or according to plan. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, when everyone is happy. Dino ba nila napansin yung stress namin mga suppliers? I think that makes for a fulfilling wedding. You have a knack for discovering talent in people. And that's how we first met. I was hosting the wedding of a friend. You were the coordinator. You told me that it's something that I could do uh, full time. So my question is, what do you look for? in individuals because I know I'm not alone as a person who was essentially discovered by you and encouraged to be part of the wedding industry and has that changed now during the pandemic situation? Well, I'm proud to say that JC first worked with me and I na talent but for me it's also what I feel more than what I see so, intuition comes to play, and there are big pakiramdaman devils. Honestly, I want to be like a female to your terms who keeps on discovering new talents. Wala na mga impossible sa pag drive sa work, as long as love mo talaga yung ginagawa mo with a passion. So, kahit ilang libong pandemic at virus pa yung dumaan, babalikan mo pa rin yung craft that you love, and you're doing it not just because of money. Hi, Gucci! This is my first question. Our way forward will definitely be different from how it was before. Can you cite two to three major changes the wedding industry should anticipate? And as a follow-up, how will these changes impact suppliers and clients, whether positively or negatively? Now for my second question. Execution of events can be stressful, especially for pre-planners like you. How do you keep yourself mentally healthy? Sa totoo lang tao, baka hindi tayo for three changes. But as of this writing, wala pa tuligay yung IATF guidelines for wedding people. So we just have to wait for that and for sure we will adapt. But one thing for sure, anything that's not normal will not last. So I'm really hopeful that um, in the future, we will slowly return to our real normal. I try my best not to take life seriously. I don't like sweating the small stuff, so technically, I'm chill. Um, I'm also a very positive person. And for those who really know me well, I love to laugh. Alam mo yan, hindi ko tumawa. So, I just make sure there's work-life balance palagi. Um, I have two questions for you. First, what do you consider is the biggest break you had in your career? You've been on the top of your game for so many years now, more than a decade. My second question is, if there is one beauty product that you cannot live without, what is it? Please, tell us. I consider taking the challenge of my son, Patrick, to level up not just as a wedding planner, but also as a bridal fair organizer. By the way, Oli has always been a part of the Getting Married Bridal Fair, aside from being planner pa niya, so thank you, Oli. So I really consider the very first Getting Married Bridal Fair as my biggest break, and that has been thankfully going on for the past 12 years now. This is my question in Oli because I love makeup. But there is just one item I cannot live without that will be my compact press powder um, because I have a oily skin. But people would always tell me I always look fresh though. But that's really because of my press powder, which is a uh, MAC and Suzanne Kyle. Hi, Ms. Boj. So, my question is. Uh, what inspired you to become a wedding planner? My question is, uh, is there a wedding coordinator that you would look up to? 
Hi, Marvin and Charlie, my sweet event couple. Well, bago pa lang ako, I really like involving myself in activities. I help out with my mom's organizations. Sa school, I do uh, fundraising events. Even when out of college, I would help my friends uh, plan their wedding. So, it's really something that I really like doing. But one time, my friend asked me why do I try doing it professionally. And so I did. And the rest is history. Walang specific na person, but I'm actually inspired with my fellow wedding planners, whether the tihan or the tuhan. I have such high respect for them for choosing this kind of stressful job. Uh, still choosing to love this work, kahit na it's toxic, just to be able to help out some of them. Hi Kochi, so my question to you is uh, since nakikita kita sa events, sa wedding lagi nakaayos, so my question to you, kung anong itsura isang Kochi kung nasa bahay? My other question is, despite your busy schedules, of course before the pandemic, how do you spend quality time with your husband? Well, kung nasa bahay ako, I am just wearing an all-day pantulo or naka-dress t-shirt ako or I mean a hoodie with a giant pants. Well, for the bonding time, it's usually um, like weekdays. So, weekend is like malago na yan because we have work. And normally, it's a dinner uh, and a movie followed by dessert and coffee in a favorite restaurant. This is the line. My question is, what makes you laugh the hardest? What was the most challenging situation you faced as a wedding coordinator? Well, those who are really close to me knows that I love a lot. And as in, I am a malabo person. That's why even in movies, I like watching romantic comedies. I veer away from horror films. Alam mo, once wala ako masingled out na challenging talaga because maraming challenging at iba, iba sila ng levels ng challenge. I just have only one thing in mind whenever I'm faced with a problem and that is not to give into panic. Somehow, um, that gives me clarity on how I am going to approach the problem and eventually find a solution to it. And there you have it. Those were such interesting and challenging questions, but I enjoyed answering them so much. Thank you so much to everyone who participated. I'd like to give a shout out to my flowers by Teddy Manuel here in my background. Please don't forget to watch out for my other videos, especially for soon weds and industry suppliers. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. See you on my next vlog.